How's it going, everyone? I'm Aaron Nick, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. I literally just beat the boss. Um, I just beat beat him, hit end, uh, and now I'm I'm back. There was no time in between, so I'm gonna talk about that boss battle um a little bit better because I mean there was stuff happening in between, so I really like I mean I can't like I don't have the chance to really t analyze it and talk about it like you know in the middle of it. So um. Yeah, basic, basically that boss had me, like, just going through all this. I, I think that was a well-designed boss battle for the most part. Um, the hard part of it being the fact that there's, there's literally a hundred guys everywhere, um, the whole time. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like, um, that, that was kind of what you'd want out of a boss battle in these games. Um, and I feel like it was... W much better design than some other boss battles that occur in these games like all the time where it's just like uh resident evil 5 is the best example you just look at some of those bosses and it's just like you just hur hurdle explosives and they just slowly got more and more intense i got a lot of rifle ammo there um was am i supposed to have a rifle do i maybe want to find that out Okay, that's the buoy in which I came, so I want to check that spot. So I want to go there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to have a rifle yet. Huh. So I had the buoy key. Um, I had the helm key. It's not working. And there's the thing right next to it. Oh, a minigame. Okay, there haven't been as many puzzles yet, uh, for the most part. Puzzles so far have been like, go get this thing so you can get the shotgun. Okay, so just gotta connect them all again. Okay, so there's one up there, one right there, one right there. Done. That wasn't hard. <laughs> and is this active? Yeah. And I'm just gonna. Eat. There we go. Um, deck. Is this a new area? Is this a new area or do I just not remember it? Might be a new area because I don't too far to scan. Handprint. Yeah, looks like new new things are going on. Hand That was just a box, like Oh yeah. Um okay, so that's one thing that these games always did was like if you have like if you're getting generic ammo or something and like the game mostly measures it on what you need. So that's their way of like gauging like what you need in a given situation is um like the game figures out um their algorithms figure out what you've used. Uh I didn't mean to hit that again. The game figures out what you used and um then it like it calculates the percentage chance or whatever. So that's why like barrels and stuff are always big in Resident Evil games. If you didn't know this, uh, this, I mean, this is, this was interesting to me, so I've, I looked it up before, but yeah, if, if you don't, um, if you need something, the game kind of uses that as a way to, like, get you what you need. Like, that's the point of barrels, and that's why it always seems like barrels drop random things. So, like, if you have zero shotgun shells, the game will realize that you have zero shotgun shells, and then it'll Make it so there's a higher chance that it'll drop shotgun shells. And I think I'm just going through these big loops when I don't need to. I think I just need to go back the way I came from. But whatever. We're exploring. Seeing if there's other rooms that I can get into now. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Nothing in there. Oh, why am I even being surprised? I probably checked those like couple of videos ago so this is the exploration episode how's it going everyone we're gonna be exploring looking through for stuff probably wasting a lot of time probably gonna get a bad score just because of all the searching all right uh i probably want to go to upper cabins because i went to the lower cabins before and yeah i think i think most of the areas i've been to already Ooh. I've not been in here yet. 
Found a room I have not been in. Illegal custom parts. Huh. So is that just gonna like, is that something I should have picked up before? That's gonna like power up my weapons immensely? Hey, what the hell is going on? Monsters are crawling all over the ship. They're tearing it to pieces. I've never seen monsters like this. Their movements are stiff, stilted. And it's all over if they get a hold of you, of course. Piece of shit monsters ate my friend. Hasten Bastards. Is that his name? His his first name is Hassan and his last name is Bastards. Alright, they ate Bastards. I used my gun to frighten them off. Giving me time to... Okay, so he has a gun. Bullets went right through the arm, thank god. A woman twisting my leg. Oh, damn monster. Okay, so it's saying now, like, thanks to the woman. So, is there maybe a rifle? Rifle, please? No. Alright. I kind of, I feel like a rifle might have helped in the, I know, actually, you know what, I'm, I'm not even saying anything, like, intelligent there. The rifle, I wouldn't even gotten a chance to use it. The rifle might be a good opportunity on some different enemies later on, but not, uh, now that's the bathroom um which i at this point have not gone into you guys have seen me come in here but um i had to do another playthrough a couple of videos ago so i end up just never coming back in here all right you know what not worth it but on the bright side i have a lot of ammo so excess ammo is good especially after a boss fight unless they, you know, amp it up. So, it seems like what I need next is a card reader. And then I'm able to come through most of these areas again. But for now, they're pretty useless. Oh, I'm really wondering what that custom part is going to be. Like, is it just going to make my weapons, like, crazy powerful? Or maybe, like, because illegal seems like it's going to be a whole different, like, stat or something. Hello. Okay, so anchor is something I still need. I might need to, you know what, just shotgun him. Damn it, ran right into it. There we are. Yeah, I don't have anchor, so I still need anchor. Um, I need car reader for that way. So yeah, the only thing I can do is go back this way. So I just made a loop perfectly for nothing. Uh, I might just add an annotation earlier, because nothing really got accomplished there, just what I pick up, an herb. Yeah, so if you want to skip to now, you'll be able to. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. Alright, go through this room, and find out what's next. I'm probably going to end the chapter here, to be completely honest. I don't see why, like... It, they would continue on a chapter for a ridiculous amount of time. Okay, go through here. And I wonder, like, okay, this already is a fairly big ship. I wonder, like, how much bigger they're going to make the ship. Because anything anything beyond this is just, like, too big like for a cruise ship. Too late. What are you talking about? Huh. Oh, communications are smashed. Why'd you smash him, Raymond? Both of you. Look. Thou wilt that I be moved. The desperate grief wrings my heart already. Little masked friend. Now is that hunk? But if thy words be seed that may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know, speaking and weeping shalt thou see together. I know not who thou art. Nor by what mode thou hast come down here. The world is in our hands. This is the tea of this virus, and we are equipped to infect one fifth of the Earth's waters. Ooh.
Oh, well, we found out who he is. Some guy. So this is our man. I knew it was Veltro. Veltro. They're just throwing names out at this point. Send a team to Valcoin and Mock Airport. Look for something linked to this ship, O'Brien. Yes, I read you. I'll send Quint and Keith. What? You two, get ready to move. Uh, I hate snow. Shit, snow hates you. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. <laughs> so, why even put characters in, like, if you're just gonna kill them off? Like, I don't know. That's like, it's not interesting. Like you create these like two guys, and it's just like they're just gonna really die in this one. Like a big lake. Be patient. Finding a ship at sea is like finding a needle in a haystack. No kidding. But that still doesn't solve our problem. Hey, are you even listening? We'll find you, Jill. I promise. I don't know, I, I feel like there's a slight disconnect when they d come up with the ideas of like new characters where they're just like, well, we're going to make this guy be like this and this, yeah, I'm, I'm, that took a long ass time. 30 minutes on that one. Um, yeah, that's where the whole like, that's where the whole reason why characters fail is because it's like, for campaign use. So I, did I just randomly... Okay, raid mode. Raid mode, I might do something of it. I don't think so, though. It's it's interesting. It's a level-based system. Um, I, I played a little bit of it before. Just to try it, but... Alright, so I'll get started on the next one. Probably just watch the first few cutscenes. What's gonna happen. But then, uh... Probably cut the video shortly after that. Previously, we don't need that. It's, it's literally just to tell you, like, what just happened. Like, I don't I don't care to watch that again. It's like f flashbacks of things you've already seen. A Nightmare Revisited. Who am I going to play as? We are Veltro. Vengeful messages of the depths of the Which we've already seen. Terrorists. We killed these bastards already. It looks like you missed a few. And they're on this ship. Now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. They seek the truth about Terra Grigia and vengeance. Is it bad if I'm slightly bored when I'm Jill, listening to you guys talk? Both ships out of power. The ship's running on emergency power. But the comm system needs the main power. We need to bring the engine room back online. That won't be easy. Okay, so what do you propose? What do you propose there, sport? Ooh, that was decent amount of shotgun shells. Okay, can I press this? Oh. Alright, where am I going now? So I can't use elevators is what I'm assuming. We need to bring the power back online. Do I need to go that one way? Because I'll be trapped within this, like, these corridors. Loading screen. Disguised as doors. Brilliant. Hello. Raymond. Take it. You might need it. But then, turning on the power won't be easy. Oh! Okay, iron anchor, so I have the, I have the anchor key now. That key will get you through the casino on the first floor. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the bill. But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FPC members here, did you? I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Is it? Really? Damn it. He's still talking. Should we look for this Rachel woman? Alright. So, wait. Where do I go down there? Seems like I'm supposed to go down there, is what it's telling me. Do I go up or down? Like,. Okay, so is the iron... 
anchor key is what I just got, which I was assuming I was supposed to go s somewhere completely different. But you know, oh, didn't know there's a door here. Casino. Okay. Gla kind of glad I didn't go the other way. I mean, I might have gotten something for it, but it would have been slightly out of my way. And we will see the casino in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be going through the casino in the next one.